the most important person in my life that I would love her. You know, I would love for her to see me pitch in the big leagues. I will be my grandma. She's in Cuba. Uh, unfortunately, she's not allowed to come here or she, she can't. But, I mean, that will be the person that, that, will make my, that will make me really happy to be here and watch me pitch. And how about the story on how he got here? Defected from Cuba three times. First two times got arrested. Third time almost made it. They turned him around. That was really hard. I think the toughest part was uh, leaving all my family. And the fourth time at night in dark seas, in high waves, heard a splash. So somebody was overboard, and he said, I'm going to save him, jumped in. Somebody fell the boat. I didn't know who it was. And Fernandez, all of 15, decided that he was best equipped to save whoever it was. So I jumped in the water, and I was uh, trying to get to where it was. So when I got close, I saw it was my mom. So. That was pretty, like, shocked. I was like, oh, wow. They made it to Mexico and then flew to Miami, and the rest is history. Just recently turned 21-year-old Jose Fernandez putting on another spectacular show. I was worrying about every five days going out there to do my thing. Wow. Fernandez has won his 12th game and has given Marlins fans great hope for the future. I give everything that I got and give my team a chance to win. That was my goal. 14 strikeouts, a Marlins rookie record. The defector, just dominant. Mom loves it. You know, I look in the stands and I see my mom. I don't like to get tattooed something that it doesn't mean anything to me. I got my initials there and uh, the two love of my life. I got my mom's name and uh, my grandma's name. And my mom doesn't know as much about baseball as my grandma. My grandma is a baseball freak. If you could, you know, send her a message in Cuba, what would you say to her? You know, everything that I do is for her, and uh, she know I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna keep working hard, and uh, hopefully one day she's gonna, she's gonna get to see me here. How are you? <laughs> bueno. <laughs> Having watched the dynamic unfold with him caring about his grandmother so much, kind of came to our attention here and. We have a big family here in this organization, and there was a link missing in that family. My pleasure. Yes. My pleasure. <laughs> so we closed the gap. We got her here. Jose knows nothing. No, nothing. Niente. Nothing. Nada. 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 What do you think she would say if she was here? What would she tell you? I don't think she will be here. I think he'll be so stunned he won't know what to do. Oh. Oh, you want to jump up Oh, boy. Oh, my God. That's what I got me. You gotta be kidding me. No. <laughs> oh man, this is this is stop it. This is not. When this happened? Oh, we won't do that. Oh, dude. Maybe I want to get gay. Tú estás precioso, papi. Precioso, precioso. ¿Qué te has hablado, usted? Sí. No. No estás llorando aquí. This is, oh my God, how, this is. I've never seen you speechless. No, yeah, <laughs> stop for me, I'm, oh my God. You know, this is better than being in the big leagues, better than winning anything for me. I wanted to show her everything that I did during the season, that she couldn't be with me everywhere that I was, how, what I did. Oh, baby, she will catch it, she will catch it. I'm made of the world, Duro. She teach me how to catch. She, she taught, taught you? Yeah, when I was little, she would, I would come back from practice and she would be like, no, 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 pull your hands down, keep your glove down, and you look at the ball until you get to your glove. Oh, every day she would work with me. Oh, my God.
Vamos allá afuera para que tire. Para que tire donde yo tiré este año. ¿Quieres tirar desde aquí? Ah, ¿Ah? Alejo. For the first time in National League voting for the Jackie Robinson Rookie of the Year Award, a Cuban-born player is the winner. The Marlins pitcher, Jose Fernandez, got 26 of the 30 first place votes. Yeah, a lot of bicycle riding for Jose Fernandez to get in great shape. Yeah, spring training numbers were okay. Breaking ball. Got him. Major League. Trivia question is what National League catcher led the league in home run? Or one out singles. Jose snares it. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's locked in. 98 miles an hour. With one out, it was Michael Kadire and Carlos Gonzalez. That's a check swing and a swing. Center fielders in particular. Blackwood can't hold up. Hitting streak last year. Got him. Jose Fernandez strikes out the side. And had an ERA of 1.19. And he gets to Lewinsky for the second time. Marlins live. And he, he said it just the way I was thinking as far as opening days. The strikeout number eight. We'll have a little more wins in the win column. A home run by Carlos Gonzalez. A sharp breaking ball by Jose Fernandez. And thus the top of the sixth is over. Jose, today you become the youngest Marlins pitcher to start on opening day and you do it with your family here, your grandmother in the stands. What was this day like for you? You know, it was really amazing. Uh, having an incredible time, you know, having them in the stands. Uh, when I was walking in from the boop and I blew him a kiss and, uh, you know, it's really special to have her there. I mean, she hasn't seen me pitch for a really long time, so I want to see what she's going to tell me that I did wrong now. <laughs> I don't think a whole lot. Six innings, just the one run. Uh, but you seem to settle down a little bit after the first. Was there anything that felt different after that first inning? You know, I just did it. I, I, I went out there and I didn't want to be overthrowing it and doing all that stuff. So I was basically trying to throw strikes and, and you know, try to get outs and try to get quick outs and, uh, and you know, try to get my team inside to hit it. And that's what I was trying to. But I mean, I think, you know, we're hitting the ball incredible. You know, it's fun. Got seven runs and, and we're winning, so really excited about it today. Yeah, nice to get that run support in the first start of the year for you. How important was this game? I know it's just one game, but you had such a tremendous rookie year. How important is it to be able to come out and set the precedent of the type of pitcher you're going to be in year two? You know what? I think it's just fun. And, and you know, having Salty behind the plate, wow, you know, incredible. He did a call incredible game, game. Ozuna hitting the ball and everybody, McGee, everybody hitting the ball well. So. You know, really excited. I got a chance to be out there, represent my team, and represent my fans. They were, they were going crazy out there, so thank you. All right, Jose, thank you so much. Glad you enjoyed opening thank day. Thank you. Guys. Very nice job. Thanks for Jose for the interview during the game. Olga on the right, mom on the left. Olga, the abuela, who was uh, one of the guiding lights in Jose's life, his young life in Cuba, but when he escaped and came to the United States at... Uh, a young age, he had to leave her behind. His mom was with him. Remember, his mother fell into the sea. This was the third attempt. Jose was the one that dove in, not knowing that that was his mother, and rescued her. So mom made it with Jose. They relocated to Tampa. But last year, his grandmother had to climb to the top of their house, her house, to get the Marlin Spanish radio broadcast in Cuba and would listen every time Jose pitched. This was the off season. The Marlins arranged for a two year visa for Olga to come to the United States. And she arrived in the United States just as Jose was getting his Rookie of the Year award. And of course, uh, many of you have seen the, the moving video when the Marlins surprised Jose with his grandmother, a warm embrace. And isn't that nice? She didn't have to climb up to the roof of the house to hear him on radio. She can watch him in person, and when he's on the road, she can watch us. It's. Uh